let's discuss about a question which has been put as a doubt by one of the student and uh, I thought uh, to discuss the doubt uh, in the video format because uh, the question is an interesting one and uh, which will give me an opportunity to discuss the beautiful concept of uh, graphical transformation so to start with uh, the question is something like this uh, draw the graph of the function fx equal to 1 minus 2 to the power 1 plus sine x plus 1 now um, we can quickly modify the function a little bit like we can definitely write it as 1 minus 2 into 2 to the power sine x plus 1 okay I think this is same as the given function now to draw this particular function we will um, follow the process of graphical transformation so um, I've already uploaded the snapshots of the intermediate and graphical transformation steps so I will be only discussing the method uh, which is followed uh, to draw all these graphs like uh, I have started with the graph that is fx equal to 2 to the power sine x okay this is the graph from where we have started and uh, to the left hand side you can see the graph of this particular function and uh, as you see that uh, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis and this is the origin I'm starting with and for the function fx equal to 2 to the power sine x like uh, you can see that putting x equal to 0 will be getting 2 to the power 0 that is uh, 1 uh, then putting x equal to pi by 2 will be getting 2 to the power sine pi by 2 that is 2 then putting x equal to pi will be getting 2 to the power sine pi that is uh, 1 then putting x equal to 3 pi by 2 will be getting 2 to the power sine 3 pi by 2 that is uh, uh, 2 to the power minus 1 that is half and uh, at 2 pi putting x equal to 2 pi will be again getting back to the value of 2 to the power sine 2 pi that is uh, 2 to the power 0 that is 1 okay and uh, since you can see that the graph um, or the function 2 to the power sine x will be periodic with a period of 2 pi because the period of sine x is 2 pi so 2 to the power sine x will also have a period 2 pi so I have already draw only draw the graph of the function between 0 to 2 pi because after 2 pi the same set of graph will be repeated again and again so only this much analysis from 0 to 2 pi is sufficient so after getting all these points we will be just joining the points by a sinusoidal graph or the wave because uh, definitely this uh, function will behave like a wave due to the sin x contribution so uh, this is the graph of 2 to the power sin x which starts from 0 comma 1 then reaches the maximum value of 2 then again dips down to 1 and then further dips down to half and then it goes to 1 and after this the same nature will be repeated again and again with a periodic interval of 2 pi now the next modification of the graphical transformation that is going to happen to this is uh, this particular x out there is getting replaced by x plus 1 okay so our next graph is fx equal to fx equal to 2 to the power sine x plus 1 this is our next stop so what we have done is that we are simply replacing x by x plus 1 and on replacing x by x plus 1 the graphical transformation that happens is that the entire graph gets shifted horizontally to the left by one unit okay x is replaced by x plus 1 means horizontally the graph will be shifted by one unit to the left so if this graph gets shifted horizontally to the left by one unit then this is somewhat mm, somewhat the graph will look like like we can see that uh, this particular tip of the graph the highest value 2 was achieved at pi by 2 and the lowest value half was achieved at 3 pi by 2 but now these uh, highest and the lowest value have been shifted like this particular highest value now have been shifted to pi by 2 minus 1 because the graph have been shifted to the left and this lowest value of half have been shifted to 3 pi by 2 minus 1 okay so basically the entire graph have been shifted to um, to the to the left by one unit so this is a graph of fx equal to 2 to the power sine x plus 1 
okay and you can see that uh, corresponding to x equal to 0 this is a value that is like 2 to the power sine 1 that is 2 to the power sine 1 radian now this is the graph of fx equal to 2 to the power sine x plus 1 next what we are going to do is that we are going to double up this particular graph so we'll be making it fx equal to 2 into 2 to the power sine x plus 1 okay this is the next stop so we'll be multiplying the graph by 2 so our next graph is going to be fx equal to if we multiply by 2 it is going to be 2 to the power 1 plus sine x plus 1 okay so since the entire function is getting multiplied with a factor 2 so the change that is going to happen is that all these functional values that the function is taking will be basically doubled up so they will be incremented vertically by two times so they will be stretched vertically two times so you can see that multiplying with the two this particular graph has been transformed to like this so it has been stretched vertically by two units so the highest value now goes to four initially the highest value was two like in the last graph we can see that uh, the highest value was this particular highest value was 2 and this particular lowest value was half now the highest value have been doubled up so it is 4 and the lowest value is also doubled up so the lowest value is now 1 a double of half so highest value is 4 lowest value is 1 and uh, this particular point is not changed like this particular point is pi by 2 minus 1 and this particular point is 3 pi by 2 minus 1 because there is no shifting in the horizontal direction only vertical stretching by 2 units okay now the next what we're going to do is that we'll be multiplying the function by minus 1 so we'll be make it minus 2 to the power 1 plus sine x plus 1 and when we multiply minus 1 with a function basically what happens that all this functional value or the y value just becomes negative so every positive value like 4 will now become minus 4 1 will now become minus 1 so every value will be just negated so let's go to that graph so this is the graph that we are talking about this is the graph of fx equal to minus 2 to the power 1 plus sine x plus 1 so you can see that the highest value 4 have been now transformed to minus 4 and the lowest value was 1 in the, in the last case and that is now at a minus 1 and uh, this minus 4 is still achieved at the same particular x coordinate that is pi by 2 minus 1 and this minus 1 is still achieved at that same point of 3 pi by 2 minus 1 okay and the final stop will be that we will be changing this function to fx equal to 1 minus 2 to the power 1 plus sine x plus 1 so what we're going to do is that we'll be adding the function with 1 so every y value written by this particular function just get added up with 1 so basically the graph will be vertically shifted upward by 1 unit so if this particular graph gets vertically shifted upward by 1 unit then this is somewhat the graph that will look like that you can see that the lowest value was minus 4 that will be now shifted vertically upward by 1 unit so it will go to minus 3 and the highest value was minus 1 that will be vertically lifted upward by 1 unit so it will go to 0 so the final graph will look some, somewhat like this like uh, the minimum value of the function is minus 3 and that will be achieved at that particular point pi by 2 minus 1 and the maximum value will be achieved at 0 the, uh, sorry the maximum value will be 0 and that value will be achieved at 3 pi by 2 minus 1 okay because uh, this minus 1 value the height of minus 1 have been vertically lifted upward by 1 unit so it has gone to 0 so this is the final graph of the function that is fx equal to 1 minus 2 to the power 1 plus sine x plus 1